Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited because Easter is one of my favorite holidays. It was so special growing up. It's also very special for me as a Christian. It's Jesus' resurrection, so celebrating that means so much as well. When we were little growing up, we always got to wear like a beautiful dress to church with a cute hat. And then also Easter baskets was a big deal, so we would leave our Easter baskets out and the Easter Bunny would come and fill it with all kinds of goodies. So I like to make it special for the kids as well. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an Easter basket with fabric lining and your child's initials or name on it without any sewing or a sewing machine. It's so easy, so simple. So let's jump into it. You'll need about five to six items to make this Easter basket. Of course, you need an Easter basket. It does not have to be this big. However, I remember growing up thinking that our Easter baskets were huge and we loved them. They were filled with so much. So I tried to find the biggest Easter basket that I could find. I actually got these at our local grocery store so you can find them anywhere, find them for a good deal. If there's a basket that you already have at home, you could spray paint it white or whatever color you want, blue, pink, etc. You also need a yard of fabric. Now you may need less if your Easter basket is smaller or you may need more if you have a bigger Easter basket than this. I got this at our local craft store, Hobby Lobby. I think it's gorgeous. I'm gonna make another one. We have two daughters, so I'm gonna make the same one for them. We also have a little boy. I'm going to make his out of this blue gingham check. It's gorgeous. You also need iron-on letters. Now I just got the cursive iron-on letters. I'm doing the small for the size and a bigger one for the middle. I also got this at our local craft store, Hobby Lobby. This is the magic piece. It seems crazy, but it's really truly this simple. This is the super tight fashion tack adhesive. It is industrial strength, it dries clear, it's amazing, it's permanent, it can work on fabric, glass, plastic, everything. So it works on the fabric as well as the Easter basket. Love this stuff. I also have some safety pins here and scissors, so I'm going to need that as well. You'll need an iron for the iron on letters. Also, I'm going to use parchment paper to help iron on the letters, and then I have just a towel here. Um, since I'm ironing on granite. All right, let's get started. So what you wanna do is you want to take your fabric that you have, and you're going to take your Easter basket here. What you're gonna do is normally there's one side with your print on it and the other side has no print. You are going to put this fabric in your basket with print side up and you're just going to drape it over the basket. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get an idea of where we need to cut the fabric. I like to leave extra room inside the basket so it can kind of move around. You don't want it to pull too much, especially once you start putting candy and toys in there. You want to make sure that it's even on the sides, it drapes perfectly. And then once you have it where you feel like you like the way that it hangs inside of the basket, you wanna look around the outer edges and make sure that the pieces are actually hanging over the basket. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this fabric. So where you have your handles, you want to pull up the fabric and you want to make a little slit right where the handle and the basket meet. Cause what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a straight line up so that the fabric hangs over that handle. So I just made a little cut right where the handle and the basket meet and then I'm gonna cut a straight line up all the way to the edge of that fabric. And then your fabric should drape nicely over that handle. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side of the basket. Okay, so now we have the fabric setting nicely around the handles. What we're gonna do is you're going to cut this fabric and you're gonna pull it all the way to the bottom of the basket. So we're gonna cut it right here where the bottom of the basket is all the way around. You can measure it if you want. I think this is about five and a half inches. So if you wanted to measure all the way around and cut it five and a half inches, you can do that or however long your basket is. Now that the fabric is where we want it, and this is how we would place it into the basket, we are going to take one of our safety pins, and you're just gonna pin 
right where you want the middle initial to start. So I'm gonna look at the center of this basket. I'm going to place the safety pin right in the middle. And now I'm gonna take this fabric out and we are going to iron on those letters. So I'm gonna take the middle initial first. I'm gonna place my towel down right here. And I still have the safety pin. You only want one layer of the fabric. Now I'm gonna take this letter and put it as close to that safety pin as I possibly can. Make sure you have the letters positioned exactly the way you want it to look on the fabric. Then we're gonna place that parchment paper over the iron-on letter just because you don't wanna damage the thread on it. And we're gonna press down for about 30 seconds. I like to do it for a little bit longer than 30 seconds just to make sure it's on there. Do pay attention and make sure your iron is not too hot. Now that you have the front iron on, you are gonna go to the back side and you are just going to iron the back. You don't need parchment paper for the back side. That's just gonna make sure that it's really adhered to the fabric. You wanna make sure you get the edges and the corners really well. You may also wanna go through and just iron some creases in the fabric, but now we are done with the iron, so put that away. We are gonna bring this Easter basket back out. What we're gonna do is we are going to put this fabric back in the Easter basket. The most important thing is making sure that you have your initials lined up properly the way that you want them to look on the Easter basket. Again, make sure you have enough slack in the Easter basket. That's very important. So we're gonna take our glue, and the first thing you wanna do is go to the opposite side of your fabric, and you want to glue the spot where you want it in the middle of the basket. So right above where your monogram or your initials are gonna be, you're gonna glue that specific spot to the basket so we have that marker of where we wanna start. Now this glue does take an hour to dry and for it to fully dry so it doesn't pull at all. It needs 24 hours. So it's not an initial. You do have to hold it for a while. So now that we have that, what we wanna do is we wanna go around and we are going to glue the edges of the fabric under, up and under. So almost like you're sewing it under. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the glue and on the edges of the fabric, you're going to glue it and then push it up and under. So you're kind of creating a seam with the glue. It does get a little messy. I'll say that. So have a napkin or a towel next to you to help. What you're gonna do next is you're going to again glue that bottom portion and you are going to tuck it under to however far down you want it on the basket and you're going to glue this fabric to the basket. I know it sounds so easy, but it really is that easy. And as long as you get over, your fingers getting a little messy and it not looking perfectly, it'll be so much easier as well. So as you can see, I've literally glued the bottom pieces together so we don't have a ruffled edge, and then I've tucked it under one more time and glued it to the basket. It's so simple, so easy. We're gonna do that all the way around the basket. glue will bleed through on the fabric but don't worry about that it dries clear and you do not notice it as you're going around also make sure that you're not pulling the fabric too much out of the bottom you don't want it to pull it all so make sure you keep pushing that down and it has enough slack in the bottom of the basket around the handles you just want to tuck the fabric in and glue them as well You can also give it a little bit of ruching 
by pulling the fabric together. Honestly, you can make it look however you want. I kind of like a little bit of the bunching and I do just hold it there for a little bit because it will pull away if you don't hold it and let it dry for a few seconds. You do want to make sure that you put enough glue on it so that the fabric doesn't fall off. The Easter Bunny might put lots of goodies in there so you want to make sure it's secure. around and make sure there's not any extra glue that fell out or accidentally got on the basket where you don't want it. So go through and wipe it before it dries on there. And there you have a beautiful lined Easter basket with your child's initials without sewing. It's really truly that simple, that easy, maybe a little messy with the glue. Let it dry fully for 24 hours and you're good to go for Easter. The Easter Bunny will be so excited with these gorgeous Easter baskets. Thank you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Enjoy a special time with your family. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.